Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is a little programming. And it's a very simple program. It's going to be the quadratic formula, which is pretty much all over the place. Now, this is the quadratic equation. We're going to need to know that for the program, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And then the quadratic formula, just a little refresher, is x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, to start your program, just go to Program, go to New. Now, you can't put any spaces and I'll just try to make it short, short enough where you can identify it. So I'm just going to put quad form. So quad, and I'm just pushing the letters, which are the green, and then form F O R M. There we go. And enter. Now I have this. Now what I want to do is I want to use the display option. The display option option once you're in program, hit program again, and then you have all these operations. While and pause label go to menu. Oh, there it is. It's under I dash O. Okay, there's the display option. Now, let's say I want to print this. So, what I want to do is use quotes. Quotes are right here, and it's green, so I have to push the green first, alpha, hit that. Now, it's AX squared plus bx plus c, and you could put the equal zero in there if you want, it doesn't matter. So I need the a, that's green, so I'm gonna push alpha, then a, then x squared plus, I want my b, b, so it's green, so I push the green first, x plus green again, get C equals equals is found under tests so I'm going to push tests equals and then just push zero now I'm using quotes so I need to again push quotes and then enter what this will do is it will display the formula now you want to type in the variables that you're going to be using which is a B and C so you want to push program again, go to I slash O, and select prompt. Now what prompt will do is it will prompt you and say, okay, A equals, B equals, C equals. So A equals, now just push A, and then comma, B, comma, C. It's going to prompt A, B, and C. Now with the formula, what you want to do is you want to do these two. So we use display, we use prompt. Now to, for the formula, just type in the formula. And since you have this plus or minus here, you want to do two separate ones. Now also what you have to do, since later you're going to display both of those solutions, right, because the plus or minus gives you two solutions, you're going to have to use display again, and you're going to have to use it in reference to two different variables. And so let me just pick D and E. And I'll show you how to do this. So what you want to do is type in this separately and then store it as D, and then the second one, type it in, and then store it as E. So let me show you how to do that. Now I'm going to have to use 
parentheses around the numerator and the denominator. So parentheses. Now be careful here since that minus signs in front is actually a negative sign. So push negative. Now let me do plus first, right? Plus or minus. Square root, and that's b squared minus 4 a. Again, to get the a, I'm just clicking alpha first. So a, uh, c. Close the parentheses for this one, right? You see that? And I have to close the parentheses again divided by parentheses to a close parentheses. Now I'm going to store that <clears throat> as D. Enter. Now I need the second one, the minus. So that's negative B again, minus square, whoops push the wrong button. Alright, there we go. Uh, square root of b squared minus 4ac. Again, I have to close those parentheses and then close it again for the whole numerator. And then divide that by 2a. Close. And I'm going to store it as e. Now, what the program is going to do is going to it's going to prompt you for a, b, and c, and then you're going to tell it what a is, what b is, what c is, and then it's going to plug all those in, and it's going to store each solution as d, the first one, and then the second one as e. And then you want to display both D and E. If you don't do that, what's going to happen is it's going to store it, and then you won't see anything. So go to Program, go to I/O, Display. Now this time, do not use parentheses. Just type in D, comma E. Comma E. Enter. Okay, I just typed in my program, so let me use it. So push program, go to execute, quad formula, and then push enter. Okay, have my two, let's say five is my B, and then for my C, it's three. So my solutions are negative 1 and negative 1.5. But let's say I wanted a fraction. I can either change the mode. Let me do that. Change the mode. Now this is a TI-84+. plus. Some editions might not have it. And then you go to answer and then fraction and then hit enter to click it on. Now I'm going to type in the same thing again. I have my A being 2, 2, 5, 3. So program. Two, five, three. There we go. And so my solutions are negative 1 and negative 3 halves. And that's it.